I'm in Midland, Texas. What brought me here? Yesterday's annular solar eclipse. One thing about seeing eclipses around the world is you're going around the world and finding these locations. I knew nothing about Midland except that the eclipse was going to be here centrally located. But upon arriving, I asked questions as to what, what kind of town I was seeing, and it seemed very interesting, different from where I come from in Queens, New York. Well, it just so happens to be Midland has quite a history and a present day. Uh, back in 1884, Midland, getting its name, being midway between El Paso and Fort Worth, was the depot for the Texas and Pacific Railways. So it was very important then. But something changed, very important. On May 27, 1923, at 6 a.m., oil was discovered. Now, we're in the Permian Basin. The Permian Basin is the largest in the world, uh, ranging from 251 million years ago to 299 million years ago. But what is this? So what's happened here? Right now, it is pumping out the largest amount of petroleum in the United States. And it's doing so more now than ever since 2019 at 4.2 million barrels a day because there's a great technique that they're using. They're fracking using salt water to push the oil over to the rigs, to the pumps, so they can come out. And this is quite environmentally effective and economically effective to do so with the salt water. So they're able to produce more. So now it is now the top oil producer for all of the US. As you can see, all these pumps over here, they're working day in and day out. I don't think I saw such a large collection. But oil is found from this area all the way down to Louisiana along the coast. But this is a booming town. 10 years ago, you wouldn't have seen it like this. And it really booms. Now, if the oil stops, we say it could be a ghost town, just like the American West. But that's just, uh, that's not really what it is. It's just that things come and go based on the on the economics. But uh, it's, it's, it's just so amazing that this, this area was all lush with dinosaurs and forests and all that, and all this oil is down under here, but they're putting it, and, and, and they're just bringing it out of the ground, and, and it happens to be the largest of the United States of America, just here off the road, not far from the eclipse. And uh, uh, for me, as a New Yorker, I don't get to see these things, so uh, I find it quite interesting to, uh, to report this whenever I get a chance to, to travel.